We're outside the Royal Courts of Justice in London. The court hearing for Tommy doesn't start till 10.30, but there's already Tommy Robinson supporters who were waiting around, including Sherry, who I noticed with her Free Speech, Free Tommy shirt and your Union Jack. What a pleasure to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Well, tell me what makes you come down here 90 minutes early uh, and stand out on the street just to get in. Uh, wh why are you here? Um, I love Tommy that much. I'd do absolutely anything for him. I think he's an amazing man. One of the only men now in this country that actually stands up for the British people. Um, I can't think of anybody else, not anybody else, that actually is standing up for the British people. Uh, I have been getting lots of feedback in London on Tommy Robinson. Some people love him, some people hate him. Um, what reaction have you received to wearing that shirt? Very, very positive. Everywhere I go, people come up and say I'm really brave to do it because I walk around on my own wearing it. I don't care. Um, I don't think there's anything negative to say about the man. What has he done other than stand up for the British people? Nothing. He was the only man that went against these Muslim grooming gangs. Him, Paul Golding, Jada Francis. What's happened to them? They've been locked up, jailed. We're not allowed to talk about it anymore in this country. We are being gagged. I went to a Trump rally on, I think it was Sunday. The police came up to us, told me I wasn't allowed to hold my flag. I wasn't allowed- You weren't allowed to hold this flag? You're not allowed to hold the, that's the official flag of the United Kingdom. Yep. It's the Union Jack. It's the Union Jack. And you and the police told you you couldn't hold that. What what did they say? They said um, you could only walk in twos. It was an incitement if you held up your flag. The flag's an incitement to whom? Who would be incited by that? Um, uh, that to that, I have no idea. And did you comply? Uh, no. No, you didn't comply. Did they threaten you in any way? Um, I got stopped from walking down the road and I had to put my flag away. I kept on my T-shirt. Um, and I kept getting told, what's my name, what's my address? And I said, I'm not giving it to you. We are still supposed to be a free country. I'm from Canada. We grew up admiring the United Kingdom as the land of the Magna Carta, uh, the land where the law and uh, freedom were hammered out f as a template for countries around the world. This does not sound like the United Kingdom I was taught about in school. This is not the United Kingdom I grew up in. I'm 65 years of age and I suppose in the last five years, it is so bad now, so bad. You're not allowed to say anything. Uh, you're not allowed to do anything that isn't, doesn't fit in with the norm. It's a terrible, terrible state of affairs. And unless, unless people get up and start saying we've had enough, I think in 10 years time when my grandchildren are older, there will be no freedom of speech we will be completely taken over and we'll have to walk along like zombies. This is not a free country anymore, I promise you that. I don't know what Canada's like, but I promise you this is not a free country anymore. Well, that's terrifying. Hopefully today will be a little victory for freedom. Sherry, what a pleasure to bump into you and thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you very much, thank you. There you have it, that's Sherry, one of a group of Tommy supporters that are starting to gather. There's also journalists to my left and there's about a half a dozen mounted police just in case some Antifa rioters show up, which of course is always a possibility. I'll have more updates throughout the day subject to the court's rules, including a limited publication ban. For more, go to tommytrial.com. I'm here in London at Tommy's Court of Appeal hearing. For all of my updates, go to tommytrial.com.